Good morning, everyone. Uh, you are watching a uh, live daily market outlook for Tuesday, 21st of uh, February 2012, prepared by Windsor Brokers. The long-awaited uh, deal between uh, Eurozone uh, officials and IMF and uh, Greek fr Greece from the other side has uh, uh, finally been uh, reached as uh, Europe uh, seals a new Greek bailout uh, to avoid the uh, uh, default that was hanging above uh, the Greece and uh, this uh, the agreement was signed uh, during the early hours of uh, today and announced uh, with immediate reaction on uh, euros uh, rally from uh, overnight low at uh, around 130 180 zone uh, hitting highs uh, close to 133 uh, but uh, still uh, the tops at 133 and 133 20 are still out of uh, reach the dollar yen uh, from the other side holds uh, positive momentum and the uh, uh, trades just off uh, yesterday's high looking for test of uh, 80 our next uh, target initial uh, barrier uh, gold also appreciated the uh, broke breaking above the near term uh, range and hitting a fresh uh, high of uh, one and a half a week uh, hitting levels uh, at uh, 1747 uh, i guess uh, there while crude oil uh, holds its uh, positive uh, tone uh, after yesterday's uh, higher opening and the uh, rally through 105 uh, level holding above 105 uh, for now as uh, sanctions against uh, Iran and uh, reduced uh, oil exports uh, to the number of countries uh, and also decision of Iran to stop uh, exporting oil to uh, UK and the France affected the price keeping it under uh, upside the pressure uh, the brief uh, look on today's uh, calendar already is released uh, today's uh, Swiss, uh, Switzerland uh, trade balance uh, uh, show the surplus of uh, 1.55 uh, billion uh, Swiss francs uh, much uh, lower than the previous uh, month release of 2.01 billion uh, surplus and the forecasted 1.95 billion uh, surplus uh, from UK at 9.30 GMT, public sector net borrowing uh, expected uh, to decrease uh, by 8.9 billion pounds compared to the uh, positive release of last month at 10.8 uh, billion US pounds. And uh, from uh, Canada starting the American session at uh, 3, at, pardon, at 13.30 uh, GMT, uh, Canadian retail sales monthly expected to drop by 0.2 percent compared to a previous month of 0.3 percent while uh, core retail sales are going uh, are expected uh, to uh, rise by 0.1 percent compared to the same uh, level of 0.3 percent of the previous month wholesale sales from uh, Canada monthly release uh, due at 1330 uh, again 0.6 uh, percent increases forecasted for today compared to negative uh, release of uh, minus 0.4 uh, uh, percent uh, of the previous month and from Eurozone consumer confidence uh, due at 1500 uh, GMT slightly better but uh, still negative uh, forecast for today minus 20 is the today's consensus my, uh, versus minus 21 of the previous uh, month a uh, brief look at <clears throat> the markets and uh, to see the latest uh, movements as we can see the euro after uh, Speaking yesterday at uh, 132.75, uh, the subsequent uh, easing and correction uh, hit levels at uh, 131.87. This was the overnight, overnight slow ahead of uh, a strong rally on announcement of the Greek deal in the early hours today. However, the, pay, the pair is still uh, stuck under 133. Yes, 132.92 uh, high was uh, reached uh, so far with brief break above uh, uh, 90 days moving average so far failing to sustain gains. The risk would be seen on the further failure to extend higher. However, the positive uh, studies at this point, although the pair is uh, losing uh, momentum on the uh, hourly chart, uh, while uh, four hour charts are still uh, uh, rather in the positive tone and they're looking for a test break above 133, 133.20 is required to uh, resume this uh, short-term uptrend of uh, 126.22 uh, and open way for a further extension higher with the 134.00 as uh, round figure barrier and 134.35 uh, 50 percent uh, retracement of the broader down move from 142.46 to 126.22 uh, seen on a break. 
Uh, other scenario sees the failure uh, of uh, breaking uh, 90 days moving average and the previous high at 133.20 and the further range as we can see that the pair is uh, uh, currently moving uh, within the 133.20 and the 129.73 range and this might extend further uh, as long as uh, 55 days moving average at 130.41 uh, holds the downside. Only loss of uh, 129.73 low of uh, last Thursday uh, would risk uh, a further weakness and uh, mark the temporary top at uh, 133.20. A cable is also in the consolidation, uh, near-term consolidation mode after uh, reaching uh, fresh highs yesterday at uh, 158.77, currently moving uh, in the sideways within the uh, range of 158.07, uh, 158.77 uh, previous uh, high, uh, with the hourly studies turning in more into negative uh, territory and signaling, signaling uh, further weakness. As uh, the pair has uh, uh, quite strong barrier at uh, 159.13 and 200 days moving average and the previous high at 159.26. Uh, uh, good uh, offers are still seen at uh, these levels and uh, in the near term uh, likely scenario would be that these uh, levels uh, will cap. Only break, a firm break here is uh, required to avoid the scenario of uh, uh, end of October, beginning of November, when the price action uh, attempts uh, to break about 200 days uh, moving average uh, failed on several attempts and then subsequent uh, significant uh, losses uh, initially down to 154.22 were seen within a couple of weeks. Uh, break above uh, this level is uh, to open uh, 160.00 as a uh, round figure uh, and psychological barrier ahead of uh, 160.90 high of uh, 14th of November 2011. A failure to do so uh, risks uh, further uh, a reversal down with the key supports on the short term at uh, 156.50 zone double bottom of uh, 16th and 14th of uh, February 2012 above which uh, there is uh, at 157.00 the uh, 90 days uh, moving average uh, with loss of uh, these level levels to uh, signal uh, tops uh, at 159.26 and the next one wherever it will be in case of a failure and uh, risks uh, significant easing uh, to the downside. The dollar yen from the other side holds the positive uh, structure after a rally above uh, initial uh, strong barrier at 79.50 extended so far to 79.88. This was the high of uh, yesterday with subsequent uh, mild correction and easing finding support uh, around uh, 79.50, 79.35 was the low but uh, uh, this uh, contained the yesterday's uh, correction and the pair is now again in the auction higher 79.83 since so far uh, with the 80.00 seen as the next uh, target as all significant uh, barriers uh, were taken out uh, on, the up, on the upside we have 80.00 and the break point at 80.23 uh, that is uh, required uh, to signal break above uh, uh, medium term uh, uh, range of uh, mid of middle July 2011 and uh, to signal a stronger recovery of the uh, very strong and uh, long term uh, downtrend from uh, 2007. On the upside uh, above 80.23 we have 81.00 and 81.30 week, pardon, 81.17 uh, weekly uh, 90 days moving average uh, to come in focus uh, on a break. On the near term the downside the uh, immediate uh, support is uh, 7950, 7936 uh, uh, ahead of uh, 7900 that is expected uh, to contain. 7930 is uh, also the 20 days moving average that uh, maintains the uptrend uh, uh, in past uh, three weeks or so. The dollar Swiss is uh, still under uh, pressure uh, with this morning's uh, bounce higher seen as a corrective as the recent uh, uh, deal uh, with Greece and the uh, Eurozone keeps the focus uh, on Euro and the, the dollar uh, comes under pressure. A loss of uh, previous uh, strong supports at 91.00 and 98.87 has so far uh, posted marginally lower low at uh, 9081. However, 
uh, we need to see the clear break uh, below 90.75, the Fibonacci level, our initial target at 50% uh, retracement of uh, October to January uh, rally in order to resume the short-term downtrend from uh, 95, uh, 93, 9th of January high uh, with 90.00 and 89.55 to come uh, next. Uh, 90 days moving average on daily chart currently at 91.97 is expected uh, to cap uh, the upside action. Uh, however, uh, to improve the short-term uh, uh, structure and uh, uh, come out of the short-term uh, range, uh, break above uh, 93.00 and uh, 93.14, whereas 55 days uh, moving average is required. From the commodities, uh, brief look at the crude oil that is currently uh, flat moving within a very narrow range but holding above uh, 105 level after yesterday's uh, rally to 105.78 this is the uh, fresh uh, high the studies are uh, still in the positive but uh, overstretched and uh, there is high risk of uh, a sharp reversal uh, similar scenario to the last uh, year's uh, May uh, the last year's uh, beginning of May when the price again was in the uh, spiking higher and then uh, subsequent sharp uh, uh, reversal uh, dipped uh, to 9462 of uh, 114.80 the peak of uh, 1st of May 2011 the similar risk is seen uh, now however the daily uh, the pardon the daily structure is uh, still in the positive uh, territory although overbought uh, conditions uh, might still see the uh, reversal uh, lower but uh, from fundamentals uh, current uh, uh, situation with Iran and the possible uh, further uh, uh, tightening of the sanctions and the disruption in the oil supply might uh, keep the oil, uh, oil price uh, well supported uh, in the short term. A brief look on the gold, a significant action seen on breaking above 1437 and breaking above the near-term range that was within 1705 and 1737, pardon, I mentioned the wrong price. So far, the pair reached, the gold reached 1743, just ahead of our Fibonacci expansion, 61.8 at 17.47 and the next uh, highs and the wider range uh, ceiling at uh, 17.50 zone uh, with a break here required to refocus our key barrier at uh, 17.63 uh, better shown on the daily chart that was the previous high of uh, 2nd of uh, December 2012 and uh, 3rd of uh, February uh, 2nd of December 2011 and 3rd of February 2012 a break of which is uh, required to resume the uptrend from end of uh, December 2012 from uh, 2011 pardon from 1522 uh, as the pair broke the main uh, bear trend line of the broader downtrend from 1920 uh, record high of uh, gold the uh, current uh, structure is uh, still uh, positive though lack of momentum on the daily chart uh, might see some uh, uh, might see the gold price struggling to break here but uh, break above 1763 uh, would definitely bring some uh, more uh, positive tone on the downside 1700 offers uh, strong support and the uh, loss of uh, this one uh, would signal a uh, return back to the uh, broader downtrend uh, with the dynamic supports at uh, 1688 of uh, 90 days uh, moving average uh, 1668 of 55 and the 1663 of 200 days uh, offering uh, for now good support